evening once again here in New York and in most places now, you have to buckle up in the front seat of a car. It's the law. But should adults who are sitting in the back seat also be required to fasten their seat belts? It's a new proposal that is still trying to gain some traction right now in Albany. Take a look at the latest numbers from a survey conducted by the AAA here in New York. An overwhelming 68% of drivers support a mandatory seat belt law for adult passengers in the back seat. Only 15% oppose the idea. New York enacted the nation's very first seat belt law back in 1984. But that law currently only applies to rear seat occupants who are under the age of 16. More on the story tonight from 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ali Tui. It's dramatic, downright dangerous dash cam footage from taxi cabs in New York City showing what can happen in a wreck if a backseat passenger isn't buckled up. That accident causes that person to obviously hit the window or hit something in that vehicle because they're not seat belted in. And it is extremely dangerous. Earlier this month, this was the scene on Route 77 in the town of Alabama. State police say one woman died in that crash. She wasn't wearing a seat belt in the back. Whether that could be a complete cause of death is unknown, but that's a, sa a piece of safety, a device installed in that vehicle that could help from preventing a serious physical injury or death in any accident. In fact, according to AAA, out of the accidents reported here in New York in 2015, 12% of injuries or fatalities reported were the result of passengers in the back seat not buckled up, compared to 4% who were. So should buckling up in the back be a law for all ages? I just feel like everyone should wear a seatbelt. If you, if you want to drive safe, wear your seatbelt. But if there's a law, then it's guaranteed that it's going to happen. Well, it's up to your own discretion to wear it. I don't know, there's too many laws already. People in the back uh, can fly forward and hit the people in the front. So I would say there's a, a risk to not wearing a seatbelt. Governor Andrew Cuomo has tied the idea to his executive budget. The Senate wants to raise the age requirement from 16 to 21, and the Assembly hasn't tied any seatbelt proposals to its budget. So it's unclear whether this is something that could be a reality in New York. Advocates only hope the idea doesn't take a back seat in the name of politics. In Buffalo, Allie Tui, 7 Eyewitness News.